Ooh, la la. I'm gonna show you all of these guys together because there's a whole grouping over here of Model A's. All right, we have this Model A coupe right here. 1932 with a Chevy small block in it. You know? Did you see that? You see these from the olden days of hot riding. This is the first time I've ever seen these things up close in person, and they are truly astounding. You know, I videotaped a Model A yesterday. It was similar to this. I had to look it up between a Model A and a Model T because the bodies are similar, but the grills somewhat differ over the years. And there was a Model B and a Model 18 or whatever. But this one clearly has been chopped. You can see chopped that roof compared to this one over here. And this here also is 32 Model A some extensive body work look at the flame work can you see that you know stamp sheet metal for the flame work right here you know it's all cut out and then he's got a blower in there and what is this, this is another Chevrolet engine yeah this is another Chevy small block okay let's go back to this one over here for a minute I like these I like these 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 dog dish hubcaps. You know, it's got two bucket seats in there, and it's got his fuel cell in the rear. You know, it's got his gas tank right there. Okay, Excelsior radios. I never heard of those. Those are truck tires. Cause that's seven and a half R16 107H. Wow. Um, I guess he's put a he's got a rotary window in here too because it's cut out he's got a crank in there maybe they put the window in yet yeah I guess he's planning on putting the window back there and this one over here he's got the fenders on this one those are Mickey Thompson ET Street Radials. American Racing Wheels, like Torque Thrust too, but Torque Thrust made for this specific event. Same thing, he's got the fuel tank. Apparently it looks like the same fuel tank as this one does. I don't know, it looks like a, I'm trying to guess here from the shape of it. What would that be? Mm, from the shape, looks like a 15 gallon tank to me, right? You know, he's got a functional rear door here with the LED tail light. He's got a hinge on his door, but I don't see a handle, so he must have kept the hinge on the inside. You know, this is really nice. Pistol grips, got the uh, new gauges in there. You know, probably an aftermarket stereo. Got some nice leather buckets. You know, you just can't go wrong with this paint job. You know, it's orange and a silver flame. Silver flame. Jeez, this guy right here. How to not park a car, drive a car, or do whatever he's doing. You know. I'm just trying to go home and play my video games to my, uh, my TV. My TV. This guy's got a Toyota Avalon. You know you don't have a personality when you got a Toyota Avalon. Uh, yeah, that's a beaut. See, what he did, he didn't chop the roof on this one. So, this is awesome. All right, let's go see the other ones. Because there's like another three of them here, I think. All right, now there's other two right here. See this one right here? This is like a sienna orange, and this is a classic black one. 
Ooh, the Deuces Wild Car Club. Long Island, New York. This one is... I like this one a lot. Listen, I'm a, you know, you're a stickler for originality. And he's got his, he's got his front fenders on. He's got his rear fenders on. He's got his running boards. Can you see that? Well, let me get in closer for you then. See, he's got his front fenders on here. He's got the steel wheels. He's painted red. Still has the same dog dish poverty hubcaps. I like those. Real stylish. Look, even the red pinstripe is a classic touch. Don't know what he has in here, but... The other two had small block Chevys, so this one, I'm looking through the uh, slats on the radio, on the, on, the, uh, on the vents, this looks like a small block Ford, but I can't be too sure. I'm looking for the distributor, a Ford would keep the distributor in the front, and a Chevrolet would keep it in the rear, but, oh, yes, yes, this is a Ford, oh, thanks, goodness, it's a small block 302. See, another 1932 Model A, but this is a two-door roadster. It has no rear seat in this, so that's what would not make it a coupe. You know? Uh, yeah, man, look at this. This is beauty right here. This guy, what are these in the rear? These are look like some Chinese brand tire Falcon ZX STZ yeah mm. but the size is a 30 by 9 and a half 15 it's a light truck tire but that's a good looking wheel good looking tire too sorry alright so he painted his gas tank whereas the other people didn't do that so he's got a boot on here he's got a trunk where the other ones didn't have that those were two-door sedans, and this is a Roadster. You know, chrome work is excellent. Paint work is excellent. Pinstriping is excellent. Yeah. Wow. Actually, the cop should just carry this car all by itself. It's that beautiful, man. Interior with a General Motors steering column. Looks like a steering column out of a mid-80s Buick. And simple instrument cluster in there. He's got the stereo hidden, so he wired it for stereo, so it's got to have a good functional 12-volt system in here. Yeah. Deuces wild. El Ducino. Now the one next to it, right, this too is also a two-door roadster. I don't know that much about this body style, but I know these, uh, this engine cover, it has different vents on this one than he has on his, so I don't know if that's a year thing or is that a designer choice, or I'm not really sure, but uh, this paint job is awesome. He's got the alloy wheels on here. Some more American Racing torque thrusts. You know, there's also a difference between the door. This door, I think this is the original way it opened. Suicide style versus what he has there is traditional style. I'm not really sure. I don't know. His hinges are on the outside, so maybe this is the way it was supposed to. And then they just changed it up for this later on. I don't know. It says two-door sedan, but... That is an awesome paint job. It really just speaks for itself, right? These two here. Oh, man. This two speaks for itself. And this orange one and this black one. These things really, they really turn me on. Makes me think about going back and getting one of these because... Oh, it's got a beautiful interior, stitched leather. Ah, well, that steering column is also not from his age, but it looks like something more, something out of a Ford Maverick, that's what it looks like. 
like a 1974 Ford Maverick or something like that. But yeah, yeah, definitely. You can definitely see the charm in these 1930s era Fords. Oh, there's one more, one more. Let me go catch that one and then we'll see. You guys can compare all five of them and see which one do you think is the best. This is the last one here. This is one at the end, but this one's got that uh, that Herman Munster Dragon Flame kit on it. You know the George Barris touch. I don't have I don't have See it. It's got the 1923 tail light. I mean, license plate on it. So I don't think this is a 32. This looks like it's probably older. So this is probably a Model T. Yeah, those other ones were Model A's. And this one is a Model T. Well, once again, never seen one of these in person either. But this would be something that the Herman Munster would have driven. You know, on the Munsters. This would be definitely... Look at those tires, how fat they are. So fat and juicy, like a steak that you can't get anymore because it's like $18 a pound. Mickey Thompson's Sportsman's. That's what he's got there. It's, a, it's nice though, man. I mean, his fuel tank is right here. This would traditionally be the trunk, but you put your fuel tank right there. Yeah, so this would be called a Model T bucket. It's got his floor shifter, which. Must have, he must have long gorilla arms because I don't see how you can reach that. And I guess you climb into it because there's no doors. It's low enough to the ground, but then again, that's aiding into my, my, my thinking that this guy must be a gorilla because he jumps into it and his gear selector's on the ground. Oh, there's no doors. Yeah. Yeah. But it's got a blower on it, so this is also a small block Chevrolet. You know? And it says uh, 83 Ford. So what they do in New York is what you do in New York is is that the vehicle is registered based on the chassis, not the body. But this looks like a concocted chassis, so I don't even know how. I don't. I can, somebody's gonna have to explain that to me because. The registration sticker says 83 Ford. The license plate says 23. And that is not an original frame because any Ford from 1983 wouldn't have had a frame because it would have been unibody. You would have had the Fox body, Thunderbird, or LTD, or Mustang. And then the only car that would have been body on frame would have been the Crown Vic. And the light truck. So you tell me.